see it like to see a very big second also for honoring our musician. I'd like to also thank the Honorable Commissioner who is here wearing so many hats as the head of the house and the Honorable Commissioner. And as somebody who's here to represent his excellency from you know, I don't know if you want to say a few words concerning that from the Yeah. Uh, uh, thank you, uh, Pastor Jelabi. Uh, it's uh, been a, a delight uh, uh, listening to you. And uh, uh, like you said, wherever you go out and meet him, you, you learn one or two things. Uh, I have learned uh, today about Nehemiah uh, uh, and that uh, the, the situation in which we find ourselves today in Lagos is just like the situation uh, that the prophet uh, talks yeah. about in the Bible. And uh, I would like to go back with the message to tell my colleagues that uh, this is not the time to be downcast. <laughs> There's a time to have a, a like Nehemiah, uh, to have a, a shovel in one hand, and then uh, the sword or the sword, 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 sword the other, and then uh, telling them what uh, the two uh, symbolize. So I thank you so much. And then uh, talking about uh, city people, uh, it's been uh, 24 years of exciting uh, journalism. Uh, I, I'm telling you, I have known Shea uh, for a while. Uh, I knew where uh, it all started. We've been together for a very long time. Uh, spoke at the Guardian before, uh, the news, and uh, which uh, for me is like a family. And uh, journalism in Nigeria is like uh, a family too. Uh, so we share our things, we share our gains, and uh, we laugh together, we cry together. I thank God that today, after 24 years, I'm coming here to laugh with uh, you guys. And of course, uh, there is uh, a similarity between uh, city people and Lagos. The similarity is uh, the resilience of uh, the two institutions. When uh, city people were formed, it was uh, at a time that uh, so many people were looking towards the future. What can we do for ourselves? And it was at a time when resources were not uh, uh, so much that uh, you can lay your hands on so many things for you to be able to form a business of your own. And when she learned how to do this, uh, people had their doubts. They thought, uh, well, after a while, it was made official out. But thank God, 24 years after now, everybody is in city that uh, city people is standing. And that is uh, the same spirit in which we are saying that, uh, despite the candidate that has happened in Lagos, and people feel that uh, we may have gone to the end of our week, uh, it's not going to be so. Uh, like you bad people say that uh, when the palace is burnt, the one that is going to replace it is going to be more beautiful than the one that got burnt. Mm. Uh, I assure you all of the things that have been destroyed in Lagos with the support of people like you and all of us of, uh, uh, of our culture, all of us of uh, everything that we are proud of in Lagos, all of us of our resilience, all of us of uh, all of the things that people see in Lagos that are transplanted. All of them, they are going to come together and see that the legal of our dream, we are still going to achieve it. This may not be a kind of a temporary setback, but I assure you it's not going to be a, a temporary, it's not going to be something that is going to last forever. We are going to see the scars on our body. The scars will not make us get angry with the people who may have done this. It's going to make us to remember that we need to rethink our strategies, we need to pray for ourselves, we need to ask God to heal our land, we need to pray to God to touch the hearts of those who, who felt that uh, they were hungry and just pay their soul in their own view and that uh, due to repay the society for whatever uh, evil may have been done to them, is to go about burning all of the things that uh, all of us have been proud of to go about taking lives, to go about destroying places uh, where people walk. And uh, I would like to, to, to thank uh, the management and uh, all the workers of city people for uh, at least uh, inviting Mr. Baidye to this kind of uh, family affair. 
I would like to, before sitting down, to say that, like I have said before, in that uh, interview that we had, that all of us we face a common enemy today. Either whether you are a businessman or you are a journalist or whoever, a private citizen or a public official or even a pastor, fake news is real and we all have to fight it. Otherwise, it's going to set us back several years. It's going to set the whole place on fire. And what is what you can say is maybe the one word that may be coming that uh, the fake news, social media, and this packet. There are people who live their lives on the social media. They don't do anything. They sit down in their rooms and begin to contrive ideas that are terrible ideas that are antagonistic to all that the society stands for. And they begin to show them out as a gospel truth. And some of them, some of us innocently, we lock them up. And not just lock them up, we continue to send them to other people to amplify it. Wherever you see something that you are in doubt, we are all journalists, when you are in doubt or something, never you parrot it. Don't uh, send it out. Question everywhere. Question every uh, video, question every picture that you see. Can it be credible? Can it be right? Can the, what, what will be the effect of this if I send it out? How will people feel? Will it contribute to peace? Will it contribute to the society's search for truth? Will it contribute to progress of our society? Will it affect businesses? I mean, look at all those who have bought their businesses. The pastor spoke about a, a family that borrowed 400 million. I'm telling you that it's uh, small. There's nobody who will go to TBC, for example, who will not check yet. There's nobody who will board the BLT bus in Lagos and see that on some of those buses we even have free Wi Fi. You have the air conditioner. That some passengers at times will say they should turn off the air conditioner that is uh, too cold and then we go about setting fire to such uh, assets. So all of us, we have to pray. But like I said, the common factor between the people of Lagos and city people, you can just remove the city in your <laughs> name and just put Lagos there. Mm -hmm. You are still saying the same thing. <laughs> Lagos people, the resilience that Lagosians are known for. They never say that. They can do spirit of uh, Lagosians. The love, the pride that Lagos, no matter what happens, you can only put us down for a few seconds. You stand up again and begin to smile oh, okay. and begin to say that, well, whatever may have happened, life must continue. So on this note, I would like to congratulate uh, city people and say that uh, the Lord that has said to this uh, uh, far will not leave you. And that uh, even as things are changing in our business, that you will continue to be able to keep up with the pace and that you will never be left behind in the race to do good journalism, in the race to do the race to do good to humanity, and in the race to do everything in the service of our Lord the Creator. Thank you so much and uh, all the best. I'd like to stop the tip for your conference. Okay, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.